one, two, three, four has challenged me to break into his impossible house. Welcome to your final challenge. Let's go! Behind me, ladies and gentlemen, is noob one, two, three, four's impossible house. But let's be honest, viewers, how impossible can a house be that was built by a noob? The first thing I'm noticing are lava floors that are definitely not go- I don't even have to jump over these. You can just walk diagonally and you won't even fall into the lava. And his front door is wide open. I'm not going to enter through the front door just yet because I don't know if there's a trap on the other side of it. This looks very suspicious. And another thing I noticed, he built the impossible house above a ravine and it looks like he placed down the worst looking lava trap I've ever seen in my entire life. I also see a sign that says chickens are friends. I have no idea what that means. Uh, uh, there's a- there's a cage with TNT inside of it. On the back side of the house, I see an entrance. I mean, what is the worst that could happen here? You fell for my trap, noob. Okay, there's- <laughs> there is no trap here. It's not even like there was a redstone plate that triggered a cage or TNT. There is no way, viewers, that we are not going to be able to break inside of this house. I'm so confident that we're gonna be able to break into the house. I'm just gonna walk through the front door, so do me a favor, guys. Make sure you leave a like down below for myself and Diglett so we can break inside side of the noob's house. Once again, a maze with a one block jump with lava. Look at this tiny bridge. Does the noob really think I'm going to jump from the bridge onto the redstone pressure plate to enable some form of TNT? That ain't happening, chief. Oh, speak of the noob himself. Well, well, you seem to have stumbled into my impossible house. You welcome across many challenges and will not prevail. We'll see about that, noob1234. Good luck getting out even if you can. What does that mean? Oh, oh, what? And he's gone. Okay, well, listen here, noob. Just because you destroyed my bridge back is not, wait, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to, I could literally just jump back and get out of the house. But I'm not going to. I want to see what is inside of this possible house and why is it so difficult to break into? Because we're already into the first story of his impossible house. I see this. Oh, this is a very sketchy ladder. I don't know if we should be doing this, Diglett. This is dangerous. So far, so good. No traps in the area. We've got a lot of regular Minecraft chests over here. What are these? Audience, I have never seen custom Minecraft portals like this before. At least not inside of the noob's house. And then we've got, what is this? In case you forget the farms is your hint. It's a locked chest. I've never seen a lock like that in Minecraft. How would the noob make a custom locked chest? All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, feed the wheat. I've got a bad feeling when I press this, something dangerous is going to happen. I'm going to stand clear. What did I say? I knew something bad was gonna happen. What the heck? There's not even fireballs in the dispenser, but when I click a button, they appear magically. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. What is this? There's chickens. Why are there chickens over here? All right, chickens, be free. I have freed you from the noob himself. Go. No chickens, you guys gotta get out of here. If you spend over $55 from March 25th to the 29th at PrestonStyles.com, you will get a free Jumbo Gaming Red Pizza Mouse Pad. And there's a chest inside of here with a key. Wait. This is the key to the lock chest and it was here the whole time? What? I I'm telling you, man, the noob never changes. Inside of the lock chest is another key, a key made from oak planks, wooden plank key. Wait a second, so I'm starting to think, do we really want to go inside of here? At this point in time, we've talked too much smack not to go inside of the portal. Come over here to the middle. What? Is this guy really trying to issue commands to me? You made it to my first challenge. Find the correct order of the mechanics to us extend not extend ladies and gentlemen but to extend that will open the iron gate over here bro this is going to be so easy redstone torches all i have to do is to figure out how to get this to open my thoughts are that the noob has no idea what he set up inside of here i guarantee you guys if we just place down random redstone torches eventually we are going to get this iron gate to open no problem oh <laughs> What did I say? The redstone lamps light up, opening the iron bars. Okay, what? What is this? Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. He put barrier blocks here. So now we've got to do parkour. You think this is gonna keep me from getting into your impossible house, noob? Think again. 
This is the easiest parkour I think I've ever had to do in my entire life. I'm not even going to use all the redstone torches because I feel like I'm just wasting items. This is ridiculous. Noob, you have got to build a better impossible house. Like, come on, man. This is the easiest parkour I've ever done in my entire life. And now we've got another key. This is the leaves key. A key made from leaves. Oh, boy. I wonder what is inside of the leaves portal. Probably a bunch of nonsense. How does he... Dude, if I could catch up to you, I bet you I could beat you in a 1v1 PvP fight with my fists, even if you had a diamond sword. This room is very dangerous. The water can can apparently slurp you right down. But get to the end and I will let you use my hot tub. I don't want to use your hot tub, noob. His hot tub is probably full of disgusting bacteria. We don't even know if he even knows how to clean it appropriately. Okay, so we've got a- we, we have a boat and we've got a fishing rod. Something in here is going to let us get out of here. What? Wait a second. Wait a sec- what, are you serious? Wait, this is just tripwire. Wait, can we use our fishing rod on it? Oh, whoa, 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 what did we just do? Hold on, whoa. Okay, that was actually a little bit dangerous. The news is good today, ladies and gentlemen. A green foil shirt, which comes in the brand new March lip bag is at ImpressionStyles.com right now. Okay, what do these do? Are they, oh, oh, they're breaking my boat. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, my boat just got eaten. No, how do we get out of this? Okay, we're good, we're good. Hopefully we don't need our boat anymore. Oh, come to Papa Chest. We now have the grass key, which looks almost identical to the leaves key. I feel like the noob isn't even trying with these challenges. He builds these crazy challenges and they're so easy to get through. And I just realized this is his hot tub. This is a dangerous hot tub, ladies and gentlemen. If you were to go into this in real life, you would basically not be able to breathe. When I am done with this video, I am going to be blowing up this hot tub because it is not safe for any mankind. Before we go into the grass portal, guys, do me a favor. If you're enjoying these videos with the noob, make sure you take this device, start it like this, make that red subscribe button gray, enable those notification bells so you never miss a YouTube video. <laughs> Oh, great. And once again, he's hiding himself. He knows I could beat him to a pulp with my diamond sword. You will never make it out of this one alive. I placed the key in the ceiling full of webs. Come, my pets, attack. <laughs> Wait, I think he's saying pets. Oh, whoa. Okay, I just actually got these shivers. These spiders are terrifying. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't like this. I mean, I'm not really as scared of spiders in real life, but these are terrifying looking and they're huge. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get at a safe distance. I'm going to use my bow and arrow because that's what Legolas would do from Lord of the Rings. Okay, these spiders are not even that dangerous. They take like two shots with my bow and arrow to take out. Was that the entire challenge, noob? Do you really think I'm that bad at PVP that I can't wait? Oh, oh okay, we've got silverfish. Does the noob really think I'm this bad at PVP? that I can't, I can't fight a few spiders? That might have been the easiest challenge in Minecraft I've ever had to do. Oh, what is this? Oh wait, we do, what? Okay, I just got a key. How did I get that key? What, do we want to go down there? I feel like we've got to check and see what's down here. It's a room. What is this? There's like all of these rooms. We dropped down the hole. There's like all of these, this looks like a Minecraft factions base. Okay, now where are we going? Maybe we shouldn't adventure anymore. Where is this? I don't even know where we are now. And now we have the gravel portal. I'm starting to think I didn't even need to bring Diglett as backup. I only brought him because I thought it was actually going to be difficult. Well, oh my gosh, this room is so laggy. What did you do to my pets? Well, obviously I had to kill your pets. Your pets were trying to hurt me, so I had to take them out. It's not my fault, okay? You will pay for it by getting trapped in my maze of chests. Dude, you're not gonna trap me in this maze. I will say this though, it is incredibly obnoxious because it's so laggy. There's so many chests that it actually makes it really hard to maneuver through all of them. Diglett, I need your keen sense of smell to get through this. Look, I mean, look at this. I still don't know if this is Diglett's nose or if this is his mouth. Can you guys help me out in the comments? Cause I'm still, I'm still lost. All right, Diglett, use that schnauzer of yours to get us out of this mess so we could beat that noob to a pulp. That's what he gets for trying to make a noob out of me. The fact that we haven't managed to get through this maze already, already starts to, it makes me feel like a noob. I don't like feeling like a noob. That is the least thing I like feeling like. Wait a second. Is, wait, no, this is where we came from. Oh my gosh, noob. 
You are going to get it. When I catch up to you, I'm going to give you my diamond sword. Where is this man's at? Are we going the right way? I think we're going the right way. I don't even know if we're going the... Oh, we're not going the right way. What's that, Diglett? You say to the left? Okay, I'm going to trust you this time. Don't lead me astray, Diglett. Um, wait, are we going the right way? Diglett, I think you're a genius. I think we're onto something here. We haven't hit a dead end in like 10 seconds. That's a good sign. 100%, I see lava in the distance, which means we are on the path of righteousness. Hey, Diglett! Diglett is the man. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a like down below on this video just for Diglett, man? That's, oh! While I'm waiting for this fire to run out, do me a favor, audience. If you get to one of my videos, within the first hour of a new video being uploaded, I read and feature your comments right here on the YouTube video. So make sure you get here in the first 60 minutes of a brand new video being posted if you want to be featured. And let's do this new parkour. Honestly, this parkour is very easy. Um, I mean, once again, I didn't really expect it to be difficult because we are talking about the noob here. Oh, that jump was actually a little bit worrisome, but we still managed to absolutely nail it. Oh, and what is this? A chest containing the key for the cobblestone portal. Okay, but unfortunately now I've got to redo all of this parkour, but I'm not going to make you, I'm, but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. Let's do a quick recap. We have done the gravel portal. We've done the grass portal, we've done the leaves portal, we've done the wood plank portal, which means all we have left, the dirt portal, which I guarantee you is the final portal because the noob loves dirt, and now we are onto the cobblestone portal. You are making me quite mad, you know. I told you, your house would not be able to defeat me, noob. I'm too strong and too powerful. Plus, I've got my sidekick, Diglett, and he can do anything. But you will never survive my lava forge like for to three keys I have hidden in my forge to move on. Sometimes it's hard to read what the noob says. Like his English is so broken that sometimes I even have difficulties keeping up. Oh, this is actually a big jump. I'm impressed the noob was able to make this. Ah, yes, a nut and bolt key. A key made of nuts and bolts, ladies and gentlemen. Very descriptive by the noob. If only the noob could make this parkour a little bit more challenging, I would feel more satisfied. But right now, I'm starting to feel dissatisfied by how easy he has been making it. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. The noob might actually have me stumped. How do we get to this key? I am actually very impressed with the noob right now because I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of dumbfounded. Uh, which means I don't know exactly how I get to that key. So in the meantime, I'm going to try to follow this path. What does this do? There is a sign that says chickens are friends. Um... Oh, what is that? Oh, what did I just do? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Wait, and there's a button over here to hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm noticing some things. I'm starting to notice some things. Wait, can we use eggs? Can eggs hit a button? Okay, they, they, they are not. Oh, no. Chicken, don't fall into the lava. I'm so sorry I spawned you. Oh, this chicken is going to. Oh, this is. I can't watch this. Oh, that was hard to watch. How do I get to this chest? I'm actually getting irritated. Yep, oh, yep, oh, okay, we made it. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's the third key inside of there. But I still don't know how to get to key number two. So how do I get to this key? I have finally figured out how to get to key two out of three. You have to jump from this anvil and land right there on the edge of that cobblestone block. Oh, but it's not easy. It's not easy. And I got, I got set on fire a little bit. It's okay. We're not going to die from this. And we did get a second key. Now we can press the button, open the iron gates. Oh, what is this? Oh, what? A platform is literally spawning for us to get the third key? Come on, noob. You made this challenge too easy, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all three keys, which means we can go into the new area. And the lava also disappeared. Look at that lava. The lava that was blocking key two out of three has now vanished. Now let me inside. Let me in. Let, let me in. Thank you. The final key, ladies and gentlemen, the dirt key. A key made from dirt. We are now at the final portal, audience. This is the dirt portal. I have no idea how difficult this is going to be, what tribulations we might face, but I know that I have the best viewers on the planet, so it doesn't matter. And we, what? Yo, hey. Why don't you turn around? All right, I don't want to talk to your butt. All right, fine. If you're going to be like that noob, I'm going to loot this chest. We've got a dirt pickaxe, which is apparently not very helpful, a secret hideout teleporter, and a random number generator. It's like a dice block. 
Okay, I'm gonna just, I gotta yell at him. Hey, noob! Nobody ignores Preston. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How dare you try to ignore me? Oh, where did you come from? Oh, I don't know. How about your parkour key challenge that was so easy to complete? We did it in like two minutes. I hope my impossible house wasn't too hard for you. Spoiler, it wasn't. <laughs> you made it very far, but no farther. Oh, we'll see about that, noob. We'll see about that. Welcome to your final challenge. See the chest on your side? Open it and take the items. I already took the items. How do you not see the dirt pickaxe in my hand? Wait a second. He also has a dirt pickaxe. What is going down? Are we about the 1v1 the noob in a challenge? I give you one of my best pickaxes. It's a dirt pickaxe. It's not very good, noob. I hate to break this to you, but it's kind of bad. Apparently, the teleporter only works if he also uses it. So we both have to use the teleporter to make it work. I don't even understand this. We are gonna take turns digging straight down on this cobblestone. Okay, I understand what the noob is challenging us, guys. The noob is asking us to roll the dice block and whatever number we get is how far we have to dig down. The noob rolled a six. That's bad. The lava's really close. No, 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 noob. A six is a very bad roll right now. You don't understand. Rolling a six was a terrible, oh my, he doesn't understand. Normally a six would be a really good roll, except for when you're digging down to your death in lava. Okay, it's our turn, please. Get a one, Preston, get a one. We got a four. Okay, you know what, it could have been worse. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're still winning this race, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably because I'm wearing PrestonStyles.com merchandise, in fact, the brand new Hydro Dip t-shirt. Oh, the noob rolled a three. I see you out there, noob, that's a safe roll. Right now, the noob doesn't understand. You want to roll a low number. If you roll a high number, you're gonna die. All right, please give me a two. Okay, we got a three, we're still winning. I think if we get a six, we might lose. This is really close. Noob, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Come on, if he, oh, he got a three, wait. No, he's not gonna fall in the lava. Wait a second. I think he's gonna be one block away from falling into the lava with the three. Come on, come on. Oh, this is so, I'm worried. I am worried sick right now. Oh, yes, let's go. I didn't realize that three would get him into the lava. We won. Why am I getting so excited about beating the noob in Minecraft? I should always beat the noob in Minecraft and I shouldn't be excited about one victory, which means we can now use the secret hideout teleporter. This is where his secret hideout has been the entire time, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second, what is this? What is this? What? What did the noob do to my face? What? This guy has mutilated my face. What is this? Is that the noob? He's like putting his hand over my mouth. Oh, oh, very classy. A fake mustache. I think these are tears coming from my eye and then an eye patch. Oh, wait, there's more. He literally defiled our YouTube logo, ladies and gentlemen. The noob cannot get away with this. Wait, what is this? Oh. Hold on, is this the same shirt I am wearing in real life in Minecraft? Oh my gosh, we can actually put it on. Yo, I've got the Hydro Dip t-shirt in Minecraft and I've got it on in real life. That is so sick. Oh, oh my God. Okay, wait a second. The cat walked under the pressure plate and we literally destroyed it. Audience, do me a favor, click either one of these YouTube videos that YouTube is recommending. Take care and we'll see you guys in our next YouTube video.